my ASVAB party people, welcome to Math Salvation with your coach, Anderson Duran. So I'm only doing that to get your attention because I know how hard some of these problems can be. I want to make you laugh a little bit, hopefully I did, but I want to show you exactly how to get a problem like this done, and exactly how to do it, and exactly how to be able to improve, so that way you're not just looking at this problem trying to memorize it, but actually looking at other problems and saying, oh, that's doable, I can do that. So let's go ahead and get started here and have a good time. And also, in case you didn't know, I have my full program for free for seven days. Go ahead and scan that QR code if you want to learn more about it and get started. But here we go. What is the diameter of the cylinder? Why did I read there, not in the beginning? Again, no matter what word problem you're doing, my part of people, start with the question sentence. It's going to make your life so much easier. You don't care about the information until you know why, why it's important. So here we go. What is the, excuse me there, excuse me, what is the diameter of the cylinder? Okay, cool. What is the diameter of the cylinder? So there are two main words that you really want to, you know, uh, go ahead and mark down. We want to find the diameter and we're dealing with a cylinder. For those of us that don't remember, here is what a cylinder looks like. I'm going to go ahead and put this right above my head. That's what a cylinder looks like. A cylinder is pretty much just like a tube, circular, uh -huh. you have a circular base, and then you just have a tube connecting it pretty much. So there it is. So when it says, what is the diameter of the cylinder? The diameter is located right here. Let me go ahead and show that. Boom. The diameter is essentially going across the cylinder. It is the diameter of the circle. That's it. The diameter of a cylinder is the diameter of the circular part. And the diameter, again, remember, the diameter goes across the circle through the middle. So we just want to know what this is. So let's go ahead and have some fun. Let's see how we're going to get this done. But we want to know, again, just be careful here. Be consistent. Be accurate. We want the diameter. So diameter equals blank. And we see that the choices tell us feet. So I'll go ahead and say blank feet. Nice and easy. And if a problem like this is kind of hard for you, don't worry, you're not alone. And because of that, I've made sure that in our full program, you'll be able to take practice tests for specific concepts. So even one just like this, you can see right here, you can take a full practice test, it's timed for you, and at the end of it, you'll be able to see step-by-step -step solutions exactly how to get things done. That way you know what to do, you improve every time you take a practice test, as opposed to sitting there hoping that you memorize these questions and they'll be on the test. So don't go for those hopeless things and actually go for something that's proven to work. I'll see you in the full program and let's get back to the video. Up next, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look at the information that I'm given to understand, well, is there any information about the cylinder that I can use to get this right? Now, check out that first sentence, what it says. It says, a cylinder has a volume of 72 pi cubic feet and it's eight feet tall. Okay, but the first part here is what matters most. The volume is 72 pi cubic feet. Now, instantly, whenever you see something that is formulaic, so area, perimeter, volume, surface area, the moment that you see one of those formulaic trigger words, you need to instantly regurgitate that information. You need to instantly be able to tell me what the formula is. What's the formula going to be for a cylinder? In case you didn't know, it's this. The volume of a, of a cylinder, so the volume of a cylinder, let me just write cylinder so you know exactly what I'm talking about, is going to be the area of the base times the height. Now, since the base is a circle, that area, what's the area of a circle? Do you know this? Pi r squared. And so the formula for the volume is pi r squared times the height. So we'll write that over here, pi r squared times the height. So you can say h or height, whichever way you want to say it, and r is the radius, whichever way you want to say it, it doesn't really matter. But here's the thing, if you didn't know that formula, you got to memorize it. You got to have that ready to go. There's no ifs, ands, buts, or excuses about it. You got to put in the time and know these formulas. Next up, we need to understand how we can identify what we're given so we can plug things in and find what we're looking for. If you might have noticed, Notice that we're looking for the diameter, right? We're looking for the diameter. Is the diameter mentioned in this? No. We have pi, which is pi. We have r, which is the radius. And then we have height, which is the height. So how am I supposed to find the diameter? Well, we need to leave a mental note for ourselves to say this. Once we have the radius, remember that the radius multiplied by two is the diameter. So one more time, I'm gonna go over here. 
The radius starts from the center and goes to the edge of the circle. The diameter is double the radius. Diameter, diameter, remember this, it's a simple fact, but we gotta know this. Diameter equals twice the radius, two times the radius. So that mental note that I'm leaving for myself is, hey, I'm gonna find the radius from this formula and then I'm just gonna multiply it by two to get the diameter. If you notice how some of these answer choices are half of the other, it's because they're trying to trick you to stay with the radius and think that that's the answer. So pay attention here. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get this done. So the volume that we're given right there, 72 pi cubic feet. We know it's the volume because it says volume and it says cubic uh, units. So right there, we will say 72 pi equals, and then we have pi. We don't know what the radius is, but we do know what the height is. We do know what the height is because it tells you that it's eight feet tall. So I can say that right here, again, this, all that right there, that's eight feet. Great, times eight. Perfect. So what do we do next? Well, we're just solving an equation from here. We're just gonna be solving the equation. So let's take care of this nice and slow. The first thing I notice is that, hey, look, I can actually try to get to the radius by dividing out everything around the R squared. And so what does that mean? It means they can divide out pi and I can divide out the eight. Because if I divide pi, with pi already being multiplied, it cancels out. If I divide the eight where it's already being multiplied, it cancels out. I just need to make sure I do it also to the other side. So with that said, boom, we'll see that we are going to do the same thing. We'll divide pi and eight. And you can say pi times eight or eight pi, whichever way you wanna say it, it's all good. It doesn't really matter because the pi's get canceled out. And then 72 divided by 8 is going to be what? 9. 72 divided by 8 is going to be 9. So we have 9 equals r squared. So the last thing we need to do here is figure out what r is, and then again, we'll double it to get the diameter. Keep that in mind because it can easily trick you. So how do we do the opposite of squaring? The opposite of squaring is the square root. So I'll take the square root of both sides, and it's going to cancel out right there leaving us with r equals 3. The square root of 9 is 3 because 3 squared is 9. So we have that going on there. We're nice and easy there. But again, that's not going to be the answer. Do not believe for a second that a is the answer. It is not. It is not because that is the radius. That is the radius. And before we continue, my math party people, really quick before we continue, I know that you're enjoying this video and I want to make sure that more people can enjoy these videos just like you. So if you wouldn't mind, just take a quick second, like this video, comment on it, just showing some appreciation, showing what you learned, and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way when we come out with new videos, typically every day, you can be right there on the spot to catch on to them. So help us help others ace the ASVAB. I'm Anderson, let's keep going here. To get the diameter, we have to double this. And so doubling three will get us six. So again, three times two equals six. So the diameter, equals six. And that's why B is the correct answer, six feet. And now that you're done with the video, we have our full program for free for a full week, no credit card required. I want you to get access to all of the live classes, practice problems, and support every step of the way. And I'm here to prove it to you. Go ahead, text TRIAL to 833-321-0182 and you're good to go.